Um, what the fuck am I doing here? Oh good, they're finally awake. We need your help. I know you from somewhere. I never forget a face. Cut the shit. We know you have a mind reading quirk. We need your help to infiltrate UA. Okay, but what am I getting out of this? Your life? <laughs> okay, kill me. It's fine. Um, we have money? And you're renting this bar? Fuck, fine. What do you want? I want you to go to therapy. I don't need- th Before you finish that sentence, keep in mind I have a mind reading quirk. Okay, fine. I'll go to therapy. What else? I get to be your therapist. Huh? You see, the mind reading quirk really helps me figure out if people are lying to me, which keeps our therapy sessions very open and honest. And then you'll help us. Yeah, it's basic quid pro quo. I help you, you help me. How would we be helping you? Because I'm pretty sure I can stop this whole villain thing. <laughs> Good luck with that. Sure, I'm in. No, I'm giving therapy to everyone. Fine. I'll ask. Thanks. I'll be here tied to the chair. What the fuck are you doing? I am just filling in my eyebrows. Toga gave me some of her makeup to use. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what did you offer her in return? So, we're doing a payment plan where she gives me dirt on all of you and I give her a little bit of blood every day. I thought you could read minds and doesn't that violate some kind of contract? It would be unethical for me to read minds just to get dirt on you, plus you haven't signed anything. Okay, well we can sign stuff now if you want. Everyone agreed except for Kurigiri. Yeah, he needs the least therapy out of all of y'all and he's the most rational, so I feel like that'll be okay. Maybe in a group session though. I feel like we're gonna wanna do some group. Okay, um... What do we do? Well, Toga is already working on that. I gave her some of my blood and she's going into my office to get me some of the paperwork that I'll need. You're having a little bit too much fun with this. Uh, I'm aware, but that's all right. You'll eventually have fun too. I don't have fun. Gee, I wonder why. When you don't deal with childhood trauma, you go one of two ways. You're like Toga or you're like you. Childlike or stone cold bitch, we'll work on it. That wasn't very nice. It's not my fucking job to be nice. Once Toka gets back, I'm gonna need about an hour to revise some of the contracts and then everyone can come in here and we'll talk. Are we, are we doing therapy right away? As much as you need it? No, I'm gonna give you guys a day. It'll start tomorrow. We do need to have a session though where we talk about the rules and how things are gonna go down. Why are you, why are you like this? You're like a therapist, but, but fucking weird. Dude. You kidnapped me, I'm in a den of villains, and you really think that I'm gonna be like, mm, let's talk about your childhood right off the fucking bat? Yeah. Fucking no, dude, we need to talk about your boundaries first. What, what do you mean by boundaries? You will find out as soon as Toga gets back. Fine, fine. Dude, I think we made a mistake with this one. It's free therapy, what else could we want? To not go to therapy? Hey, guys, the walls are a little thin. Uh, just keep in mind, you brought me here, and uh, you agreed. I'm back. Can I have a little bit more blood? Toga, you know that's not the deal we agreed on. Just give me the contracts, and then tomorrow you can come back for a little bit more. Fine. Here you go. Thank you very much. I'm going to work on these, and I'll see you in about an hour, okay? Can I stay with you? No. I will see you in an hour. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, everyone, I'm done. Come in here, please. That doesn't look like everyone! Yes, come on in, just have a seat, anywhere is fine. All right, everyone please grab a contract and we're just gonna talk through it. Fine. Okay, if you look at the contracts, I've pretty much laid everything out. We're gonna start with once a week and then we'll see if we need to up it from there. I will be your spy at UA as long as we stick to the schedule. I understand if you have to miss a therapy session, but you have to talk to me about it beforehand so that we can reschedule. For our first session, when it's just one-on-one, -on -one, you and I are going to start out with the basics, and from then on, I'll just kind of gauge where we should go from there. The walls in here are thin as fuck, so Kurigiri, you're going to need to shift me and the patient to another place. We'll have fun. Hey, Kurigiri, could I please use the phone? Yes, why? You know, I do have other patients, so I'm just going to have to call and tell them that I'm on vacation. I will be listening in. I am okay with that, just give me the fucking phone. Old school, I like it. It's ringing. Sharon, this is Claire. Yes, I'm gonna need you to postpone all of the sessions that I have scheduled for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, something came up. I had to go visit my sick mother. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't worry. I'll stay in touch, okay? Bye. Will that be all? Yes, thank you so much. Um, have you figured out where we're gonna do the sessions? Yes, we have a secluded warehouse. No one will be there and I can drop off you and whoever your session is with. Perfect. You sure you don't want to talk about anything? You seem a little tense. I cannot be tense, I am literally a being of smoke. Who wears a suit? But all right, we don't have to talk, just come chat with me when you're ready. Yeah, sure. I'll bring your first appointment in. Mm, thank you so much. Hey Shigaraki, how are we doing? I'm fine. Okay, awesome, so you read over the contract, you know how everything works. You have a lot of demands. 
Yes, I do. I'm putting my life in danger, not only by infiltrating a school full of future heroes, but I'm also surrounding myself with villains who have anger management problems. That's fair. I know it is. Okay, so let's get started. What do you want to know about me? Let's just start off with the basics. What do you do every day? Well, I plan. Uh-huh. We have strategy meetings. Go on. Sometimes we have missions. Okay, so far you've told me a lot of what you do for work. What about outside of work? Outside of work? Yeah, do you like playing video games? Do you like watching movies? That kind of stuff. I like video games, but I don't get to play them often because when I get mad, I disintegrate the controller. Let's focus on that. What makes you mad? How much time do we have? Thank you so much for writing me this very extensive list of things that make you mad. Let's start at the beginning. You said Hero Society? Yes, it's corrupt. How exactly do you find Hero Society corrupt? They're only in it for the money. They never care about the defenseless. They care about their names being in a newspaper. Do you think that you find Hero Society so disgusting because you expected for someone to save you when you were younger and in need and nobody did? Huh? Okay, going off of that, you also said All Might, so does that mean that you find All Might and Hero Society to be two different things? One's a person, and the other one is what they represent. No, I get that, but isn't All Might like the pinnacle of all Hero Society? Isn't he what every hero wants to be? I guess. So why All Might specifically? He couldn't save my family. And now we are getting somewhere. Let's talk about that. Okay, Shigaraki, that was a kind of intense therapy session. How are you feeling? I feel worse. Why do I feel worse? You were supposed to help me. Don't you bring that hand at me. You have so much trauma, you are drowning in it. It's gonna take time. How much time? As much time as your traumatized ass needs. Oh. When will I be less angry? There's only so much that I can do when we are in these therapy sessions. We talked about a couple of good coping mechanisms today. Focus on those, focus on your trauma and how to get through it, and then maybe you'll be in a better place next week to be able to feel better after that. So, we're only doing once a week? Do you think you're ready for more? Personally, I'd love to see you three times a week, but unless you're mentally prepared for that, it's gonna fuck you up. Can we try it? How about this? We'll start with two times a week, and if that's too much, we'll stop. I will see you on Thursday. Shigaraki just ran into his room. Mind telling me what you said to him? Oh, right. You didn't get a contract because you don't need therapy. He felt feelings in our therapy session where feelings are bound to come up. He didn't know how to handle those feelings, especially around a bunch of people, so he went into his safe space. Got it? Just what exactly are you saying to him? Look, Kirigiri, I really love this whole mama bear attitude that you've got going on, but this is his therapy. This is his trauma that he has to work through, so I can't tell you any of that. Plus, it would be breaking the contract, which he signed, which I signed, which you didn't get to sign because you don't need therapy. Once again, just reiterating that because it's stupid as fuck. You know, you're really trying to sell me on therapy by being a dick. Why would I need therapy? Gee, I wonder what could have made me think that. Maybe it's because you're running around with a bunch of 20-year-olds trying to overthrow a society with no plan on how to rebuild it afterwards. We have plans on how to rebuild it. No, you don't. You have a man who told you his plans. You are only following blindly because it's the only thing you know how to do. That was your free therapy session. Sign up in the hallway. What happened to Kurogiri doesn't need therapy? Why is he writing his name on the list outside? Oh, Dobby, I didn't know you cared. Come in. I don't give a fuck. It's just if you're going to be wrong about other shit, I don't want for you to be my therapist. Fine, dumbass. You want me to explain it to you? I'll explain it to you. On the outside, he's a very calm and collected person, and he actually feels that way sometimes, different than the rest of you who are completely fucked up. But as soon as one of his little charges is in trouble, as soon as they feel anxious or depressed or freaked out because of something that happens in therapy, he goes full mama bear and he's totally controlling. His thoughts were so goddamn loud that I couldn't even hear myself think. He's riddled with doubt, plus he has to look after your jackasses all day. So yes, he needs therapy. He needs it less than you, but let's just be honest with ourselves here. You guys need therapy like a fish needs water. So him being the least needing of it means nothing. Fuck you, fuck you, I hate you, I hate- I hate you, goddammit, burn in hell. I have my next patient now, so if you could go pretend like I'm burning in hell somewhere else, that would be fucking amazing. Hi. Hi, Toga. Thank you for coming. Are you ready to get started with therapy? Yes, but I have a couple of things for you first. Well, this should be great. What do you got? Okay, so when I was snooping in your office looking for the documents, I found an empty Starbucks cup that had this order on it, so I brought it for you. That is so sweet. Thank you. 
Okay, there's just one more thing. Please don't be mad. I also looked at your calendar and it said that you had a vet appointment coming up. So I thought, oh my gosh, there's a cat at their house and, and that means that the cat is sick. So I need to get the cat and I need to take it to the vet. So I did that and, and I brought her. Thank you, Toga. You like animals, don't you? Yeah. Please don't ask me about animals. That's a bad thing. Don't ask me. Don't ask me why I like animals. Toga, is there something that you want to talk about? I'll tell you if I can hold midnight. I have no control over my cat, but it's cute that you think I do. If she lets you hold her, you can hold her. Okay. So when I was younger, I found a dead bird. And I thought it was beautiful. So, Togo, why did you think that that dead bird was beautiful? I don't know. I don't know. And, and when I showed my parents because I thought that they would like it too, they... they they got scared. Were they scared of the dead bird or something else? I think they were scared of me. I think they didn't like me. That is such a terrible feeling for a child to have. Do you want to tell me what came out of that? Well, they never took me to a therapist. Um, I kind of wish they would have because you're really nice. We aren't talking about me right now, Toga. We're talking about you. Keep going. They just wanted me to be different. So I changed. I I was different. I was trying to be better for them. You should never have to change who you are to feel loved. But I had to. I, I needed to. I just wanted them to love me. So, how does this tie back to your love of animals? They aren't afraid of me. I'd never hurt an animal. I I found that I found that bird. I promise. I didn't I didn't hurt it. I just found it. Okay? I promise. Toga, you don't have to assure me of that. I believe you. I know. Do you mean that? Toga, I have an issue with liars. I they piss me off. That's why I'm grateful for my quirk because I get to know when people are lying to me. So by that logic, there's no reason for me to lie. Oh. <laughs> Do you like me? Hun, you brought me my cat because you were worried about her. You also brought me Starbucks. You care so much. I just feel like sometimes you go about it in the wrong way. There's a wrong way to go about caring? Yes, there are wrong ways to go about caring, but we can work on that. We can find you better ways to love. Sorry to interrupt, but Shigaraki needs help. Well, Dobby, at least you said you're sorry, but I'm with Toga right now. Are you kidding me? Shigaraki needs help. Yes, and so does Toga. I don't prioritize one person's trauma over the other. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk to him after I'm done with my session with Toga. Just make sure that you hurry up. I don't think I fucking will. So make sure that he's not a danger to himself or others and I'll see him after my therapy session is done, which should be in about mm, 45 minutes. Fine, but I'm staying here until you're done. Dude, you read the contract. This is between me and Toga. You're not a part of the equation. So I need you to subtract yourself from the room and get the fuck out. Bye. God, I fucking hate you. Okay, Toga, so let's talk about those healthy coping mechanisms, okay? Are, are you sure you don't need to be with Shigaraki? Because I totally get it if you do. You can go. What part of I'm not prioritizing one patient over the other didn't you get? Does this mean that I'm a priority? Obviously. So as for coping mechanisms, have you ever tried drawing or doing crazy makeup? I'll let you do mine. Okay, Toga, I am absolutely obsessed with how you made us match. You don't mind the pink because, like, I know that you're non-binary, so you're not a girl, but I think the pink looks good on everyone. Toga, stop. What did I say about lying? I don't lie, right? So I think I look good, I think that your makeup looks great, and I love it. So, like, what's the problem? I just don't want to screw this up. We will work on that next time, but before I go, I need to ask you a question. What is it? The entire time that you were doing my makeup, did you feel the need to stab me or get my blood? I did it. I did not. So this is a good coping mechanism. I think it is. Can I do this again? Dude, obviously. Just stay here with Midnight and then I'm gonna go check on Shigaraki. Okay, I'll be back. Hey Shigaraki, how's it going? Stay away from me. I don't want to hurt you. Just stay away from me. I thought this was happening. Put these on. And now we hug. It's okay. You're gonna be okay. Listen, fucker, I have a bone to pick with you. If this is about me waiting to help Shigaraki, I don't want to fucking hear it. You don't have a choice. At least sit down and get comfortable before you yell at me. Well, Shigaraki was freaking the fuck out. You were in here doing makeup with Toga. Yes, I was. Nice observational skills, detective. Was it the pink eyebrows that gave it away? 
You really think that looking pretty and cute is more important than his mental health? No, asshole, I think that Toga's mental health is just as important as Shigaraki's. What does pink eyeshadow have to do with how she deals with her brain shit? Well, her brain shit, eloquently put by the way, Mr. Poet, is stuff that I can't talk to you about because remember we have this whole contract thing going on. But what I can tell you is that this can be a coping mechanism. What the fuck is a coping mechanism? Stop using your stupid therapist shit on me. In case you forgot, I'm your therapist too, dumbass. And this is a better coping mechanism than the unhealthy shit that you put yourself through. Like the alcoholism, the drug abuse, and the vendetta that you have against your abuser's protege. Fuck off. I'm leaving. In 15 minutes, I'll be back for our therapy session. I'm in therapy for three days, asshole. You do now. That outburst just showed me how desperately you need it. Fine. Okay, Dobby, are you feeling better? A little, yes. That's good. Now let's talk about where all this misplaced anger came from. What do you mean misplaced? You were ignoring Shigaraki. No, I wasn't. And I think you know that. You burst into a therapy session that you had no right to be in. I was trying to help him. Were you? You don't really seem like the type of guy to care about Shigaraki out of the goodness of your heart. If he has a mental breakdown and exposes us, then all of us are through, including you. Yes, and after our conversation today, I trusted him not to do that. He wasn't on a rampage, he was having an anxiety attack. This is ridiculous. Did you even care that he was hurting? Or were you more mad that I said no to you? Look, I get it. People are allowed to say no. That's fine. Dobby, not only are people allowed to say no, but they're encouraged to say no. When people overstep their boundaries. Okay, fine. I guess I overstepped your boundaries. Now I know. Dobby, you knew that before you even burst in here. Honestly, though, I'm not surprised that Kurigiri brought you because one of his charges was in trouble. But you did something wrong. You know what? You can think whatever you want. It's not my fault you're too stupid to get that I don't have control issues. Now, a lot of people develop control issues when they lose someone close to them. Yeah, sure. Good guess. I haven't lost anyone, though. Are you experiencing grief? No. Yes. Was it someone in your family? No. I, I'm not grieving anyone. Yes, I am. Was it your mother? No, it wasn't. But keep going at this. I'm sure we're gonna get somewhere. Father? Why would I grieve my father? I want him dead. Was it a brother or a sister? No. Toya. Dobby, who's Toya? No, I'm not talking about this. Okay, let's talk about something else. You expected for me to dive into your childhood right away. Is that something that you want to talk about? No, it's not. Let's just, I don't know, talk about something else. Okay, um, is there anyone that you look up to? I look up to Stain. A lot of people here do. I'm honestly not surprised by that. Why do you look up to him? Hero Society's corrupt. I want it gone. And what are your plans for after you destroy Hero Society? What do you mean by plans? Well, if you're going to be the cause for it being destroyed, then you need to be the builder or the architect of what comes next. No, I don't. I'm just planning on destroying it. So, you don't like Stain, then? How did you get to that conclusion, jackass? As radical as Stain's ideology was, he still had a plan. He respected heroes who only cared about the good of the people and who didn't care about money or being famous. That's why he let Izuku Midoriya go. Okay, so how does that mean I don't look up to him? How can you look up to someone while actively working against them? God, you're annoying. Do you ever stop talking? I stop talking when people are willing to talk to me and let me listen. Well, maybe you need a therapist then, because maybe you just love the sound of your voice too much. I have a therapist. I, I have a therapist. I know that I have things that I need to work on. You signed the contract. I'm just confused as to why you're so against healing. I'm not against healing. I'm just against people getting in my personal business. I'm genuinely confused as to why you're so angry. You were the first person to say that you were okay with me giving you therapy and you're obviously not okay with it. I said that you could give me therapy so that you could help us. How have you helped us so far? Well, on top of the fact that I'm planning on infiltrating UA for you guys, I'm also helping you through your trauma. How is that not being helpful? Well, Shigaraki's never had a panic attack before, so it sounds like you're the problem. So let me go. Let me go. I don't need to be here. I'm here to help you.